Hello. 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 Well, hi. Who is this? I'm Fred Herbert. Who is this? Fred Herbert. Who the fuck is this, man? I just told you. Who? My name's Fred. I'm a Belvines man. Kind of Fred? Belvines. Hello. I don't know who this is. And and uh <coughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Sounds like somebody really drunk. Some guy. I've been, I I've I've, I've uh I've Hello. Been, hello. 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 Who is this? Hey, you know what? I've been I I've I've, uh, Who are you I've looking been for? Drinking 13 drinks today. Who the fuck are you looking for? I'd like to talk to Carrie. Carrie doesn't live here. Why are you so mad at me? Hello? 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 Yeah, who you want? Who's this? Who? Is this Gregory Stevens? It's a prank call. No. I don't know. No, uh, are you lo- are you looking for a, a man partner? Yes. You are. Well, go down and ask the priest chief to give you a blowjob. Oh. Good night. Okay. I'm not doing anything. And your name again is fucking asshole. Hello? Hey, cum guzzler. You guys are fucked up. Who the fuck is this? Springfield. Who the fuck is this? Springfield. Fucking weirdo. I like to suck on some dick. You're fucking weird. I'm telling you that our grandpa. Oh. Hey, guys, take us a phone and say, suck on dick. Just a minute. Hey, man. Hey, come guzzler. You want to get in the, You want to talk to... Who you want to talk to? What are you going to do with my cock? What are you talking about? I want a good cock sucker that sucks to come right out of the cock. No, no, no. Listen, listen. You know, everything you say on there, young man, no matter where you're calling from, is being recorded. Oh, yeah. That sounds it's good. Be, no, you can be rest assured... When they, they set their mind to find out who's doing this, I would insist that they give you a cool term of minimum of five years. Love Close to only ten century. Love them. So I mean, you good head. take the time to consider realizing you want to phone me and harass me or my family. You go ahead. You can be rest assured. Every goddamn police commissioner of Canada. Has the phone hook up to the little spoon? Balls. So you have a good evening, young man. And you want to go ahead and play games? Go ahead, continue. And as long as you continue, no, no. You, you, as long as you can continue, don't you say that? You don't take you it say off. That. So good night. Eight inches. You're gonna take it all and worship it. Worship my cum. You better beg for it. Hello. Hello there. What can I do for you? This? You're who? What do you want to? Why? Why are you calling me? I don't know who the hell you are. I didn't call. No- I didn't fool. call nobody. I didn't fool you. I didn't call. No- Call nobody. You, you didn't call nobody. Yes, we got your caller ID. You got my caller ID from where? We'll have you in jail in three seconds. You gonna have me in jail in three seconds for what? See that car coming up behind you here shortly? That's RPD. Well, I don't care about your police department. They know who I am for thirty-three years. Yes, we protect. just traced no, you. They, no, no, they protect, they protect the man you love. Tim Owens' camera killed the woman and fed him 
fed the woman over the table. You love Kim Owens Campbell, the man, don't you? And I can you tell by room you're Pick in. You love Al Pick you love Al Picton and Robert Picton, the two boys that did rape, did kill, and did cut apart three Native Indian women in Alberta in 1967. Uh -huh. The same, uh -huh. the same Pictons, the same Pictons run the Picton pig farm on parole, and they would never be given their parole. But every Indian chief of Canada and every Indian chief's wife protect those men now. They say, "Oh, it's okay." It's okay for the Al and Robert Picton who picked up the three native women of Albany in 1967 and raped them and cut their bodies up in 11 parts. So the thing is, this young man, I, I don't know who's calling here to harass me, but I'm going to bed. So, but in the meantime, you do have to remember every policeman, every department of the police of Calgary and police commission from each city. They have to know exactly. They keep track of everything that's being said on this phone. Because they don't want to go to jail for treason. They don't let 90 families of my own mother be held. They only let 90 families of my mother held hostage for 33 years. And they let held hostage the ownership of the Calgary hockey team called the Flames. Five families. They let Peter Lloyd, the born Indian, on the Gleason Reserve Hospital, he's born to Agnes McHugh. That Peter Lowe, his two wives, his two daughters and son, he held hostage since 1979. God damn, that's 34 years ago. Don't you think the military police of Canada and America have to be making sure to find out who wants to harass the old man at 75 with his grandchildren? 1979. You have. You you have some intelligence to your mind, you know. You know, why would you, a man, want to insult your own mother let Tim Owens camera the man walk free? Why would you, the man, want to insult your mother and your wife and children to let Lady Carmen Bowles, said to be Prince Charlie's wife and his next convict killer from Calgary, that served 10 years in Prince Albert Penitentiary? He's never, he can never be the wife of Prince Charlie, but every policeman says he is. I mean, every judge and lawyer agrees with that. I would say they kind of meant the sick, wouldn't you agree with me? I don't insult okay. your mother. I don't insult you, and I don't insult your mother. I don't insult your children. So, young man, you take the time to think what I just talked to you about. You know, I don't need harassment. Hell, they wake me up every hour and the hour for the last 34 years. Every hour and the hour. They only disturb my daughters of three, my grandchildren, and my wife. Ralph Kine, the great human butcher. Ralph Kine, human butcher film, the actual crime of raping and killing and cutting apart 11 teenage children in Mexico City with every TV broadcaster of Calgary. They did that in 1980. Now, I want you to understand that. I didn't give them the authority to take my family money and have me pick fucking garbage bins of Calgary for 26 years. I didn't insult you. I never insulted your family. So you take some consideration to why you called this house, if you know who I am. Hell, I'm only 75 years old. You got enough courage to come to the door? I'll talk to you. And I'll tell you the same thing to your face. If you have a tape recorder, you can put me on YouTube if you wish, and I'll tell the world the truth, too. So in the meantime, young man, you guys want to sit there and want to play games with this phone number in any respect whatsoever, you do have to remember, when people rob a family of $11 billion 32 years ago, those criminals that robbed the family have also got a voicemail hookup to this phone. Shaw Cable has. Hell, they cut me off. They were threatened to have their offices blown up. They were blown up last July because they gave me back my phone. You can be rest assured, every security staff connected to Shaw knows exactly right now who's talking and listening to me on the phone and where you're phoning from. I didn't ask you to harass me. 
I'm only 75, and I do feel in my heart that I do deserve to have some sleep sometime. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay.